Boss, welcome home. Boss, thanks for letting me join the fight. I'll do whatever you ask. We're here for you if you need combat support, boss. Roger. This is B Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. Staff assigned. Please specify a project. Please specify a project. Please specify a project.
Please select a mission. Unit dispatched. Unit dispatched. Please select a landing zone. Heading to Central Africa. approaching. Marker placed. My buddy has infiltrated our mark. The map has been updated. Extraction arrived at another base. Enemy 
presence detected. The map has been updated. The map has been updated. Detected. The map has been updated. Supplies requested. Fire. Supply drop complete.
Let your buddy die, Snake. I'm pulling them out of there. Buddy departing area of operations. Supplies requested. Supply drop complete. Strike requested. Please remain clear of the strike zone. Strike will commence shortly.
development project. Supplies requested. Supply drop complete. Weather will clear shortly. being updated. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Supplies requested. Supply drop complete. Boss, get down. The enemy sniper. Stay low and crawl along the ground. That should enable you to sneak past enemies. Supplies requested. Supply drop complete. Thank <laughs> you. 
Cheers.
development complete. Buddy has infiltrated outpost. The map has been updated. The map has been updated. You have arrived at your destination. Weather will clear shortly. That's the target. 
Op completed. Side Ops list updated. Okay, subject is in. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Support helicopter requested. Remaining. Ending attack run and we'll stand by an LZ. 
Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Side Ops list updated. Please select a mission. Unit dispatched. Unit dispatched. Please select a landing zone. placed.
Enemy presence detected. Clouds approaching. Development complete. has infiltrated Alpo. The map has been updated. Present Fire. detected. The map has been updated. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. arrived at mother base. Post captured. Detected. The map has been updated.
Support helicopter Roger. requested. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Side Ops list updated. Please select a mission. Unit dispatched. Unit dispatched. Please select a mission. We need you to get back a film canister, one of our informants hid in the field. He was working under my orders to investigate the extraordinaries that showed up in Cyprus. The man on fire and the floating boy that keeps showing up where they're not welcome. Apparently they were the subjects of some top secret research conducted by the Kremlin. Unfortunately, that meant our informant drew the attention of the KGB's Directorate S, and they took him out before we could make contact. The good news is he placed a report in a film canister and hid it somewhere in Spookmeg Keep. Just before he died, he transmitted VI of the hiding place to us, but the data was cut off partway through. The image is far from clear. 
but it might provide the clue you need. We'll be analyzing the data further to try to clear it up, but for now, get to Spook May Keep. The KGB have already dispatched a Spetsnaz squad to retrieve that film canister and cover the whole thing up. Boss, there's no time to waste. Head to Spook May Keep and use the VI as a clue to find and retrieve that target. Why was Sohalanthropus mobile? How are the man on fire and that kid connected to Skullface's plan? If we can just get that report, we can blow it all wide open. Then we can shake off the last remnants of Skullface and the phantoms he left behind. Mission accepted. Heading to Afghanistan. Retrieve the film canister our informant hid in Spook May Keep before he died. It contains vital information on Skullface's plan. For now, our only clue is the garbled photograph the informant tried to send us before the end. We're working on analyzing the data, but there's no time to wait. A KGB Spetsnaz squad is after the target as well. Boss, go to Spook May Keep and use the VI to lead you to where the film canister is hidden. It is paramount you retrieve the target before the enemy does. Be careful down there, boss! placed. Marker placed. Marker removed. Marker placed.
Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Spook may keep. The target is hidden somewhere around there. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Strike request caution. Please remain clear of the strike zone. Strike will commence shortly. should be clear as day. Check your eye droid. Enemy proof detected. The map has been updated.
Please select and supplies requested. Supply drop complete. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated.
spoof may keep. The target is hidden somewhere around there. your objective. Now get out of the hot zone. Mission info has been updated. <laughs> Support helicopter Roger. requested.
Infiltrated hot right. You're out of the hot zone. No enemy forces in pursuit. Mission complete. Mission complete. I guess it all worked out in the end. Side ops list updated. Boss, I have a quick report for you here. We've discovered a radiation leak in the laboratory on the quarantine platform. It's coming from testing equipment we installed the other day. Members of the medical team have been conducting research there, but we'll evacuate them all from the research block to the containment block next to it. Emmerich. There's no need to worry. No radioactive material is leaked, so the contamination won't spread. We just need to seal off the testing equipment. I've dispatched the security team to get the researchers out. I'll keep you updated. We finished decoding the informant's report. That floating kid we've run into a few times now. Looks like he was a test subject in clinical experiments. The Soviets called him the third boy. The third boy was brought to a lab on the outskirts of Moscow from Czechoslovakia, after which he was due to be sent to a research center in Leningrad, then Siberia, and finally an academic town in Novosibirsk. It doesn't appear that the researchers witnessed the talents we've seen from him, but nevertheless, he was quite the popular subject. His latent cognitive abilities suddenly awoke en route to Moscow. According to the report, the third boy was easily influenced by other individuals' biofields. Evil thoughts, in particular. They affected his mind like a virus. Extreme anger or resentment, motives for revenge, in other words. Now, during the transport flight to Moscow, the boy was exposed to a powerful mental energy field coming from a certain individual. Ever since, being conscious of his powers, he's become a sort of energy generator. What's unique about him is the way his acute telepathic abilities get taken over by another person's will. The boy began to physically parasitize individuals experiencing extreme anger and codify the host's desires. This includes amplifying the host's natural strengths. Or, in accordance with the host's desires, he can also implant program code in another individual, making them a puppet, essentially. Human neural synapses transmit weak electrical currents between neurons. These electrical currents, though at a level difficult to observe, warp the magnetic field outside the body. The third boy is able to pick up these weak fluctuations. Contrary to psychotronics, which involves controlling the human mind, his abilities as a receptor are too high. The emotions he picks up from another individual are amplified and unleashed into his body as they recur in his brain. They turn into microwaves, which then affect the physical world, triggering paranormal phenomena like the spontaneous combustion of organic matter or psychokinesis, you know, moving an object without touching it. There's one other thing. While he's parasitizing a host, the boy's ego gets shut away. 
allowing the will of the host to take control of his powers. Like some annoying static drowning out your own voice. That means he isn't responsible for what's been happening. Somebody's extreme anger has manifested through the third boy's powers in ways none of us could have predicted. Which would mean this was going on somewhere around us. Looking back on it, a lot of things make sense now. The man on fire, Sahelanthropus, they both came to life thanks to the third boy's powers. Everything has been happening through him as a catalyst. We first saw him in the hospital on Cyprus. The boy parasitizing the man on fire's desire for revenge gave him his new abilities in return. He next appeared at the Hamid fighter's fort where the honeybee was hidden. There, the boy parasitized Skullface's vengeful mind. He controlled Sahelanthropus, making it do whatever Skullface wanted. Same goes for when we extracted Emric onto the chopper. When he appeared at the Devil's House in Central Africa, Skullface's will controlled the man on fire via the third boy's powers. Everything is clear up to this point. But even the informant couldn't pinpoint who the host was in the cave within Serac power plant. Sahelanthropus suddenly became active, then crushed not only the man on fire, but Skullface as well. Surely neither of them could have been the host. Who else was at that location and bore anger more extreme than either of them? Whose will was controlling Sahelanthropus? According to the report, emotions transmitted in children's brains affect the surrounding magnetic field more strongly. Cerebral nerves are covered with insulation called myelin sheaths to increase impulse speed. The reason for this leakage has to do with the fact that children's myelin sheaths are still developing. So, how many children do you remember being there? Children with a burning desire for revenge and bearing a grudge against you. I can think of only one, Eli. We don't know what kind of life he's had, but the resentment he's shown toward adults is nothing short of extraordinary. The third boy resonated with Eli's mind. And that means Eli bore the strongest animosity of all individuals within the boy's reception range, estimated to be a three-mile radius, beating out even Volgan and Skullface. The third boy has probably remained hooked on Eli's anger since. You remember at the Devil's House, the third boy showed an interest in Shabani? That must have been his ego making a rare appearance. He may possess abilities far beyond anyone else in the world, but he's still a kid. Maybe them both being kids was enough to bring them together. And if so, maybe with Eli, he isn't feeding off him, but acting in symbiosis with him. So what kickstarted the third boy's powers? If we look at the location and time that his plane went down, we can make a pretty good guess. When the plane experienced the first anomaly, it gave an accurate report of its position to a control tower. Due north of the Black Sea, 125 miles east of Kiev. Dead south on the Black Sea is Cyprus's Green Line. So the plane's position was directly north of the hospital where you'd been asleep for nine years. And this anomaly was reported at exactly the same time that you woke up. The plane was enveloped in flame from the inside out. The fuselage burnt to ashes. There were no survivors, at least not publicly admitted. Your thoughts formed a synchronicity with the boy's psyche and were amplified inside his brain. That would have been more than enough to trigger his abilities. Your rage was like a big bang in his head, blowing the lid off his powers. The boy was then secretly moved to the lab outside of Moscow where Volgan was comatose. There, Volgan's thoughts resonated with the boy and he was awakened. Volgan became the man on fire hell-bent on getting revenge on you. His instincts led him straight to you. Skullface knew Volgan from Operation Snake Eater, or perhaps from even before. Monitoring this pair of extraordinaries, he discovered the hospital and sent his assassin and XOF. Skullface was probably watching the situation from close by. Then, realizing how useful these two test subjects could be, he approached them. Reacting to Skullface's thirst for revenge, this time the boy let Skullface's will control Volgan. Volgan, at times driven by personal revenge, at times through Skullface's will, kept on moving, 
though his body was little more than dead meat. Perhaps there were moments where even your thoughts affected him as well. But without the boy's power, it was like the plug had been pulled from the socket. Everything was powered by anger, malice, revenge. This is how the end of the report sums things up. Both the third boy and the man on fire were originally test subjects of paranormal research for military applications. Like telekinetically controlling the leader of an enemy nation and making him launch a nuke. Or stopping the heart of someone on the wrong side of the Berlin Wall. Experimenting with latent human abilities. They were used as tools of the Cold War. The boy's only crime was being born with unique gifts. But he was sacrificed on the altar of war. His life reduced to slavery under other people's wills. Turned into a living weapon with no will of his own. And eventually the only emotion he could feel must have been the desire to get revenge for the hand he'd been dealt. Boss, it's you that awakened the boy's powers. But there's more to it than that. I guess the anger emanating from you was something he could truly relate to. Feeling hungry, old timer? <sighs> old timer? I do not get hungry, no. But you have a new hamburger? You guessed it. And this time we use lamb. Lamb? Uh, you, you're not a lamb kind of guy? A hamburger is made of beef. Whoever heard of a hamburger without beef? Yeah, but we gotta stay fresh, stand out from our competition. You're what? <laughs> Just give it a try. <sighs> if you say so. something this time. Maybe the problem is that it looks like a regular hamburger. Gotta think outside the box. Too much baggage if they come in expecting just another burger. Let's see. Cotton candy. To make it look like a sheep? <laughs> yeah. Just a minute. You really think people would eat that? What is it you are planning? Are you using me? A taste tester. A one-man focus group? Well, actually, I've already started. I got a place called, uh, Miller's Maxi Buns. You are kidding me. Well, to be honest, business hasn't been great. No one seems to like my, uh, buns. The ocelot said Diamond Dog's budget did not add up. But... You don't mean to tell me. What? No, no, no. Our, our black budget's got it all covered. I'm not embezzling GMP or anything. But still, uh, let's not say anything to Snake, okay? Very well. However, Kazuhira, he takes more than premium ingredients and a clever recipe to satisfy the palate. Okay. So what do we do? The palate seeks one thing. Chemical additives. Chemical additives. There is nothing mysterious or spiritual about good flavor. The tongue simply identifies specific amino acids, which the brain then recognizes as appealing. Therefore, all that is needed is to chemically isolate those amino acids and incorporate them into your products. To be clear, I speak of flavor. The rest is irrelevant. That seems a little extreme. Do not forget that I am a scientist after all. And using science for the benefit of others is a joy in seeking coexistence with nature's blessings. Not everything can remain in its natural form. When we 
we fall ill, we must be treated. Otherwise, that very nature could cost us our lives. Agriculture is one of nature's many blessings. But through that process, we damage the surrounding vegetation. Yeah. Whether it's a massive farm or a tiny field, we always leave our mark on the land. The same is true of parasites. And for food preparation. If tapeworms in the raw meat of another animal enter the human body, they roam around trying to find their usual habitat. Sometimes even eating away at the brain in their confusion. So in looking through a scientific point of view, you see the necessity for processing food. Yes, it is also sometimes necessary to eliminate certain parasites or selectively use or even modify others. Alternatively, we could say that if a man is part of nature, the work he does is also part of it. What is important is the balance. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, old timer. You really opened my eyes. <sighs> I fooled myself into thinking people today wanted high quality, all natural goods. But my favorite burgers were never about that. What they want is something like the first burger I had in America when I went to meet my dad. A Frankenburger loaded with additives. That's the America I knew and loved. I'll be back in a jiffy, old timer. My next burger's gonna knock your socks off. Kazuhira, wait. What is important is how we balance the... Uh, quick for a one-legged man. Frankenburger. What kind of a dive did your old man take you to? Assigned. Please select a mission. Unit dispatched. Unit dispatched. Select a landing zone.
heading to Central Africa. Placed, marker placed. has infiltrated outpost. The map has been updated. Strike requested. Please remain clear of the strike zone. Strike will commence shortly. Ready for 
approaching. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated.
completed. You're gonna extract him. Fired ops list updated. Extraction arrived at the mother base. Support helicopter requested.
Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Side Ops list updated. Please select a mission. Unit dispatched. Please select a mission. We're going to expand Mother Base. We need more manpower. And not just for combat roles either. R&D, the support unit, Intel, each demands a different set of skills. If we want to achieve what we've set out to do, Diamond Dogs has got to get stronger. There's a Soviet engineer I want to have join us. He was the one who built your prosthesis. With him on our side, who knows what sort of enhancements he'll come up with for it. He tried to defect but didn't make it, and now he's being held prisoner at Waxin Barracks. Find this engineer and get him out. Having him on our R&D team will go a long way to helping Diamond Dogs grow. Mission accepted. Heading to Afghanistan. Engineer is being held prisoner at the Wat Sin barracks. You need to find him and get him out. He tried to defect from the base camp up north, but it didn't work out. Now they're holding him at Wat Sin. 
He's offered his technical skills to us as long as we can guarantee his safety. You have to extract the target. Boss, your target just happens to be the man who developed your prosthetic hand. He's the only one capable of maintaining it. If we bring him in, I'm sure he'll be able to modify it in all kinds of ways as well. Marker placed. Marker placed. Marker placed. Buddy has infiltrated Outpost. The map has been updated. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. The map has been updated. inside that outpost. The Soviets consider him a traitor now, so he'll be treated like any other prisoner. Caution. Sandstorm approaching.
Extraction failed. You have arrived at your destination. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated.
Cover me. Supplies requested. Supply drop complete. have arrived at your destination.
Supplies requested. Supply drop complete. Mission failed, boss.
Strike will commence shortly. Этот протез я его сделал. Это мой шедевр. Обычные протезы — это скучно. Я специалист по бионике. Я создаю биомеханические гибиды. Можно сказать? Support helicopter requested. Бионическая рука. За свою жизнь я создал тысячи таких конечностей. Они использовались просто даже в Кремле. Вот благодарность. Сделай гигантские руки для новой боевой платформы. А они посадили меня сделать заводные игрушки. Я этого не вынес. И поэтому сбежал. Но они меня поймали. Теперь, может, меня ждет Лади. Ты меня спас. Я готов тебя служить. Могу улучшить твою бионическую руку. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ.
objectives complete. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Nice work. Keep it up. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Yes, mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. has been extremely cooperative. The guys on the R&D team are glad to have him aboard. Thing is, his specialty isn't mechanics, but something called bionics, engineering based on biology. He's already submitted a proposal for modifying your prosthetic arm. If you're interested, go ahead and give the development order. Please select a mission. Unit dispatched. Please select a landing zone. Heading to Central Africa.
placed. the target. Strike requested. Please remain clear of the strike zone. Strike will commence shortly. Clouds approaching. Support helicopter Roger. requested.
Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Please select a mission. Please select a landing zone. Heading to Mother Base. Please select a drop point. Supplies requested. Supply drop complete. Boss, if you need supplies, let us know. Send me out on my next mission, boss. Give us a development order, boss. <laughs> 